Hello, fans of Colombian soccer. This is Todos Cafeteros. And today I want to look closer at Catalina Perez's debut for Werder Bremen, her new team in the Bundesliga. Catalina Perez was born in Bogota. Uh, she spent her youth and college career in Florida and Mississippi State and was first nominated to the Colombian national team in 2015. She played all of the five games at the 2023 Women's World Cup, unfortunately got injured against England, um, which was also the final game for the Colombian national team. If you're interested in that World Cup, I did a previous video on uh, Colombia's performance at the Women's World Cup. You can find here. I'll put the link up on this side. I think it will show up and um, also in the description down below. So you can revisit and relive um, the Women's World Cup campaign at the 2023 Women's World Cup in Australia and New Zealand. But Catalina Perez, one of the stars here on the Colombian team, one of the breakthrough players, uh, in my opinion, she spent the last three years in Italy, Spain, and then Brazil. And now through this tournament, I think she could really show herself right after the game, um, Colombia played against Germany. Um, Vera Bremen and Perez announced her transitioning, her transferring into the Bundesliga. Um, Werder Bremen actually got three new goalkeepers this year and I think it'll come down to the duel with the Swiss goalkeeper Livia Peng. Um, those two will probably compete for a starting role, um, but Catalina Perez's debut here for Werder Bremen um, happened on September 9th, her first game after joining the team. And we want to take a closer look at that. Um, that was the second round of the German DFB Pokal, the German Cup, if you will, um, against Borussia Mönchengladbach. Gladbach is in the second division, um, so the second German Bundesliga, the zweite Bundesliga, the second Bundesliga. Um, so here at cup level, they were facing off in the second round. And that's why we're in Gladbach today. So the stadium is das Grenzlandstadion in Mönchengladbach. A little aerial overview here. But there were about 500 to 600 people at the stadium. Um, and it was streamed via YouTube on Gladbach and Bremen side. I think combined there were about 3000 people live streaming the game. So the winner of this second round will advance to the round of 16 in the German Cup. And Bremen off to a good start. Already in the seventh minute, Amira Dahl is able to bring Bremen up 1-0. A wonderful goal here in the seventh minute. From there on out, Catalina Perez kept trying to initiate chances with long kicks off goal. Defensively, she didn't have much to do throughout the game as Gladbach's offense wasn't able to establish themselves. But she occasionally had to save a ball like this one, for example. In return, she was successful in creating chances and even goals. Here is Catalina Perez with a long ball to Weidauer, who then passed across to Meyer, who scored the 2-0 for Werder Bremen. In the 30th minute, Christine Meyer, a um, wonderful goal here initiated by Perez. Perez then with the positional awareness in the 37th minute to intercept the Gladbach free kick and immediately initiate the next counter-attack to Weidauer. Um, unfortunately, it didn't result in a goal, but I think this exactly this shows her strength, the long kickoffs, precise kick kicks um, to the forward midfielders or forwards to create chances here. Um, that style of play wasn't really sustainable in the heat today. The temperature is very high. The players got water breaks in both halves. And so in the second half, I believe Perez was probably asked to not permanently send their players down the field as it seemed like they were getting exhausted. But both scorers in the second half were then substituted out. Uh, it was a great start to their season. And then in the 92nd minute, in extra time, Melina Kunkel, who came on, um, increased the score to a 3-0. The end result, Bremen wins 3-0. So Bremen in the next round, the round of 16, um, their opponent hasn't been drawn yet. But Perez with a great performance today, creating many chances and wasn't really tested in goal too much. 
you could feel she was a part of the team and also the support on the sidelines. Someone brought a Colombian flag, um, something that Catalina certainly appreciated. She even posted it on her Instagram account here. And how is the season going to go for Werder Bremen? Uh, Werder Bremen will kick things off in the first Bundesliga this weekend in Nuremberg before opening at home on September 30th. So the season's just getting started. We'll keep an eye on Catalina's progress in Bremen and provide any relevant updates here. So make sure you're subscribed. Um, this was Todos Cafeteros. Thank you for watching.